Hello Capricorn, welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is going to be a general reading for May 2021. Hope you guys are doing well, Capricorn. Thanks for your patience as I get these readings out. Thanks for stopping by. Not all of these messages will resonate with you, so take what does and leave what doesn't. If you felt drawn to this video, there is a message here for you. But not every message will resonate. So let's see what's coming forward for Capricorn here, Spirit. Messages of light and love come forward for Capricorn. What do they need to know for May 2021? What is going on in their world? What are the main energies for Capricorn? May 2021 here, Spirit. First card out, we have the Three of Pentacles. A group of people here, possibly at work. Possibly a third party here. We will find out. Six of Pentacles. Partnership here. Equal give and take and a connection. We have the King of Wands. Okay, somebody taking action here. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess energy here. Beautiful. Justice is coming in. Okay, some balance very interesting. Things are moving forward in your life here, Capricorn. I think that there's a, a coming, coming into alignment with somebody. You may have had a, a conflict in your recent past, but I think that you guys may have communicated or you, you're getting into alignment with each other, getting on the same page. That's the message I'm pulling through. There is a, a need for communication, and I think that you and your person are working towards that at this time. I think there may have been uh, some hidden things in the background, not necessarily bad, just not being completely open. We have a ten of cups coming out, and this person is your happily ever after. Let's get some clarity around this reading, though. Interesting. What is going on here with Capricorn Spirit? Help me clarify this reading for Capricorn. Why is this Three of Pentacles here, Spirit? We have a Seven of Cups. I believe somebody here was exploring their options, okay? But there's been an ending to that. Okay, somebody had a realization in exploring their options that you are their person, okay? Now, this is either you doing that or your person. The, the energies are very connected to each other, so it may be your person, it may be you. Either way, take it how it resonates, but somebody was exploring their options, okay? There is a manifestation energy, the star card, Aquarian energy here, where... There's hope in this connection that things are going to work out for the best. We do have this Ten of Cups that came out a bit ago, and it just kind of came out at random. I wasn't... This person is your happiness, okay? And I think that you guys working together, and there being some realizations about somebody trying to explore other options. I don't think that they... What, for whatever reason, you're coming back into alignment with your person. Um, you may have been... I just feel like this energy of you flipping, flopping back and forth. Ten of Cups coming out again. Coming out twice now. Okay. So we're in a very happy energy now. <clears throat> You've made a choice or your person has made a choice to come into alignment with you and work together in a true partnership. This is very beautiful here, Capricorn. This is setting you up for very happy times ahead. Okay. Very cool. Okay, if you're not in a connection with somebody, you are coming into alignment with a partnership of some kind. Okay, you may, uh, f there's a couple of different stories going on in this, in this reading. If you want a private reading, I give private readings, go to my website, faithconnection777.com. I'll link it below. But if, uh, two different stories going on here. One is somebody had a third party, you've let that person go. They were exploring their options and you kind of realize that, you know, you know, that they didn't really take you as seriously as you took them. And so you went ahead and put an end to that. There was a completion here. 
And then for some of you, you've wished about a new person coming in. And this person coming in right now is going to be a true partnership for you, okay? If you haven't met this person already, you're going to very, very soon. This person is very is your happiness, okay? I think a lot of you here may be thinking you don't want to be played again, like the last person that you just had ended a connection with. Uh, but I think that you need to let that go. That person was on a different path, a different frequency, a different wavelength than this new person coming in. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Wow, that came out. Eight of Cups, okay? Some of you may be coming back into alignment with this same person um, who has realized that you are their happiness, okay? They see you. They went to explore their other options, and they... They're coming back to you. So some of you are going to have a new person. Some of you are going to have this same person coming back who had some very strong realizations about the relationship and they want to move and work with you, okay? Let's find out about this King of Wands here. Somebody's taking action in this relationship. Let's see what this is all about. Why is this King of Wands here, Spirit? Three of Pentacles. I think that this person, Page of Swords, yeah, there's a lesson learned here. A definite lesson learned here. Your person or you has really learned a valuable lesson here about, look, the devil came out. There was some kind of toxic energy in this connection about this three of pentacles. I think that it weighs heavily on your person's mind. You know, a lesson learned here about bringing others into interfering into your connection. You know that it's not going to be good for you. And so I think your, your person is taking action towards... They are looking good. They're, you're looking good. There's a high attraction here. I think that with these lessons learned, you're, you're in a new energy here. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, I think that with these lessons learned here, in your upcoming future, you have... Your person's looking really good, okay? So if you're the one that went to explore the options, you're looking at your... After you've learned this lesson about exploring your other options... You're seeing that your person is very, very attractive. You have this very attractive person who takes action. They move. They get things done. They work hard. And they look good while they're doing it. They're very confident. Okay. And then we have a queen of cups coming out. This person is very loving and nurturing. You're seeing them. They may be a mothering kind of person. And that this could be you as well. There's a lot of love in this connection here. I think that there is a little bit of guilt that you're carrying for, or your person is carrying for having involved a third person into your connection, or for even just considering other options, you know what I mean? It's not necessarily that you were cheating or somebody was cheating. Somebody just may have um, been looking outside of your relationship to, but, it, but the thing is, is that they're looking outside of the racial relationship to, it's almost like... They're getting perspective on their connection with you, which is very interesting. It's like they, they had to go outside to do a little bit of comparison shopping. I know that sounds really horrible to say, but, but it's kind of funny because they went out looking and they, they came to the conclusion that they really love you that much more. They didn't find what they were looking for. They, what they had was right there in front of them. Okay. Very interesting. Tell me about this high priestess here. Ten of cups again. We have ten of cups third time on the table here, Capricorn. It's a very happy, happy reading here because you really, your person or you got a really big perspective about what you have and who you love, okay? Somebody in the past learned a lesson here. Justice coming forward again, so we have it twice. This is a very strong reading coming through here. Multiple tens of cups all over the place. <laughs> uh, where's that third ten of cups at? I know you have a third ten of cups somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Look at that. Three, three ten of cups here. Crazy. But this is a very happy connection. Whoever it is that you're connecting with, that you're partnering with, this is a very happily ever after kind of energy here. And somebody here learned a lesson from their past about involving a third party in the connection. Tell me more about the high priestess. Things are coming into balance here. 
we have the chariot okay i feel like things got out of control there for a moment but if there things are you're both getting back on the same chariot and moving forward together it's like yin and yang kind of an energy here Somebody here is coming into their high priestess energy, meaning very strong intuition, development of the intuition. Okay. This is you or your person. Somebody here is about to open up to their psychic ability here. Seven of Cups is coming out. I think there's just been a very valuable lesson learned in this connection. And it's really setting things up for a very happy future here. If if not with this person, with somebody new, because I think that there was lessons learned here. Very valuable lessons learned here. Okay, let's pull a couple of Moonology Oracle cards to get some messages from Spirit here. Messages of light and love for Capricorn Spirit. What do they need to know right now, Spirit, May 2021? What messages does Capricorn need to know right now here, Spirit? For their highest good and for the highest good of all. What do they need to know? We have a super moon on May 25th or 26th. I think it's the 26th. The super moon is very powerful energy. Take time to meditate, release negativity, release situations and people and grudges will release all of that things from the past that have bothered you letting go of that negativity is what the moon is there for and so you'll get some powerful release of negativity past memories of trauma can be released during that time and it really opens you up for a very lighter happier energy so utilize that energy all right let's see what we get here Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off, Capricorn. New moon in Capricorn. A time to give rather than to take. I think a lot of you here are coming to realizations about your person. Surrender to the divine. You're giving into the connection with this person. You know that they are destined to be in your life. I feel like this is a very important connection uh, that you're aligning with right here. Okay. Some of you, this is a twin flame for sure. So anyway, this is this, this relationship is very valuable in terms of teaching you important lessons. Okay. And that's really the strong message I have here. Surrendering to that connection and allowing it to flow allowing it to you know enjoy your time with this person they're really here in your life for a reason allow them to teach you those lessons allow each other to teach you lessons sometimes it's not easy and you just have to flow with it okay great reading here capricorn thanks for stopping in hit a like button subscribe if it resonated with you guys i'll see you in the next one take care guys